Stephen St. John here with the uh, president of baseball operations with the Kansas City Royals, Dayton Moore. Dayton, we had a wonderful event here at City Union Mission. I'd just like to start there. Why is this so important to you and to be here and to speak to these, uh, to these people today? Well, it's, it, it, it's so important to our community, Stephen, as, as you know. And I think often, like, where would we be if we didn't have organizations like the City Union Mission that come alongside of um, people in a very non-judgmental way? Uh, they simply ask, how, how can we help? Uh, this organization can exist unless we have great people in our community that understand its importance and are willing to help fund. Everything uh, is, is private funding. Since 1924, the City Union Mission has done great work in this community, and truly it's up to us, our generation, to ensure that hopefully, hopefully it can go away someday. I think you and I know it's probably not anytime soon, but if we have a heart for the next generation and for families in this community, we need to make sure that the City Union Mission continues to thrive. All right, Dayton, before we, we let you go, I get made fun of quite a bit for how much I talk about Bobby Witt Jr., who is the, uh, <laughs> the prospect of the year. And uh, I'd just like to ask you, how excited are you about this kid? There's so many, you know, Vinny Pasquantino, MJ Melendez, Nick it's Prado. It's a great group. It really is. But this kid, everyone's excited already in Kansas City. Can you just tell us... Uh, how good this kid is and and uh, how excited you are to see him play well he's a better person and the thing i admire about bobby wood jr so much is that he understands the importance of connecting with fans um, he's got such an innocence and a passion and a love to play this game similar to salvador perez nicky lopez and others but very talented player and we look forward to watching him here now he's he's going to have ups and downs like everybody else the, there's a big gap stephen between triple a and in the major leagues we all know that and it's very hard to develop beyond the level of competition so he's going to have to come up here and meet those challenges but i know he's prepared physically i know he's prepared mentally for the next step and we just look forward to you know watching him play every single day up here with this great group of young players coming up is it is there a little bit of a feel like it was when with that group that won a championship here like you feel like we're on the cusp of something special in kansas city even i do you know i i like this group's talent level as good as any group i've been around i really do with mj melendos and nick prado and vinnie pascatino all these pitchers that we've seen come through the system and there's a lot of others that are going to be really good baseball players um and to see it coming together is going to be a, a lot of fun now I, don't, I can't predict championships. The last group we had was, was a tough, hard-nosed, gritty group that just persevered and just had an intensity and a desire to win unlike any, any we've ever seen, the way they'd always come back from you know, being down in the game and what have you. This group, I can't say they have that yet. They're going to need that if they're going to win championships at the major league level. Now, they've done it at the minor league level, which is a good predictor going forward. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how they, once they get to the major leagues, how they come together and, um, you know, how they perform. Yeah, and more importantly, the baseball, thanks for what you do in the community, and thank you for what you do for City thanks, Union Mission. Appreciate you, man. That's uh, Dayton Moore, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see Bobby Wood Jr. opening day next year. I'm ready for some baseball.